Hello gorgeous and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Amber the Baddie and today we are talking about stripper etiquette because here's the thing. I love y'all and I do not want you to get beat, to get hated on, and to be that girl at your club. And I don't mean that girl, I mean that girl, the girl who is fucking shit up for everybody because you don't know how to act. So if you are a new dancer, or even if you're not a new dancer, these are some of my rules when it comes to stripper etiquette. And before I get into it, make sure you are subscribed to my channel, um, add me on Instagram at Amber the Stripper Coach, and let's get into it. So this list is not exhaustive and it's not in order by most important to least, but these are important things that you should know if you are a dancer so that you are not just fucking shit up for everybody. And I want to start with stage, okay? Number one thing, do not, do not wear lotion or oil on your skin at work really at all but especially before going on stage this is a massive 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 problem especially if you're rolling around on the floor and then the next girl comes on and she is slipping and sliding and breaking her ankles because you thought it was a good idea to be oiled up it's not a good idea it never is you put everyone at risk so just don't do it the same applies with glitter. I totally get that glitter is cute. I love it. I love to be shimmering and shining. But, but the thing is, number one, we also don't want glitter on stage or on our other outfits. Glitter, it's impossible to get rid of it. But also, customers do not want to go back home to their wives covered in glitter. And yes, they're already there, whatever, but if they get caught and it becomes a problem and the next thing you know, they can't come back to the club because they got issues with their wives. So just don't wear glitter at work. It's not necessary. You are not at a rave. Um, be classy, be sexy, but leave the glitter and the lotion at home. If you are going to use lotion, do that at least an hour before your shift so that you're not slippery and bring that to the stage. Now, continuing on the, su the subject of stage, it is not considered good stripper etiquette to number one, talk to a customer when he is on stage. That is usually never allowed anywhere. So just don't do it. That's just rude. You don't wanna take money from, you know, you don't wanna distract a customer who is there to watch, there to enjoy her stage, there to tip her money, and then you come and distract her. Now, here's the thing. I get it, like sometimes the only customers there are the ones on stage, or there might be someone checking you out or keeping an eye on you. So what I do honestly, that some girls don't like it, but like technically I don't feel like I'm breaking the stripper etiquette, is once the girl is done with her stage and she's picking up her money, I might swoop in and be like, hey, I'm so sorry to interrupt you. I know you're watching the show, but I saw you checking me out and I would love to get to know you more. So if you're down for that, let's let's sit and talk. But I will never do that while she is mid-dance. I will never do that if she's dancing in front of the customer or engaging with her. And I just would be respectful. So if she's on the other side of the stage picking up her money and she's not even around and she's done with her set, then I do go and I swoop in. But otherwise, I do try to be respectful. So that's just one tip that I have. Now, I will also say you can be at another girl's stage if you are with your customer and if you're making sure that he's tipping money. Sometimes I'm with a customer, he's like, oh, I kind of want to go watch the stage. I'm like, cool, I'll go with you. We can throw money together. I don't want to let that customer go, but if we're going to go to the stage together and we're going to tip, that's great. I always ask the customer to give me a stack of ones. I'll throw it. I'll give her a bunch of money just because I want to and I can. Side note, if you want to make friends, 
this is a great thing to do get your customers to throw the money be like oh my god i have a crush on that girl i think she's so hot can i throw her some money on stage let's go tip her that's my girl let's throw her some money you can totally do this in a supportive way as long as your intentions are right and you're trying to work together and help each other also if you see that a dancer is sitting with a customer and they're talking they're having a good conversation and then she gets called to go on stage it is dancer etiquette to not go and swoop in and take, you know, take his attention, try to get him to get a VIP with you while she's on stage. It's just disrespectful. And if you're on the other side where you're talking to a customer and you get called on stage, always ask, hey, come sit at my stage. I don't want another girl to come sit here and try to steal you away. So if you're into me and you're enjoying your time with me, come sit on the stage with me. If he doesn't, honestly, it's a sign that he isn't into you and you don't have to go back and waste more time. But that is just a good way to kind of keep your customers, even if you get called to the stage. Moving on to this list, do not talk to a customer if he is already sitting with another girl. I've experienced this where I'm just like, girl, what the fuck are you doing? Like, we're literally having a chat. Why are you just barging in, standing right in the middle of us, trying to steal my customer, oh, my customer away? That is never okay, never cool. That is one way to get punched in the face and have hella drama at work. I'm just going to tell you that right now. But let's say for example that you have a regular you have a customer who is specifically coming in for you he either texted you or messaged you you know for a fact he's there for you but you might have been busy another girl sat with him first in that situation only it is okay to be like hey girl i am so sorry to interrupt you but he actually came in for me um and i just don't want you to waste a bunch of your time I always feel grateful when girls tell me that, especially because I'm like, okay, cool. I'm not going to try to convince him when I know he's here for you. That's totally fine. You can totally do it respectfully, but just make sure you're being nice about it. Now, I see this a lot with new girls, and I'm not mad at y'all because you don't know any better. But do not sell yourself short because you are a luxury. And here's the thing. It happens too often with, me, with new dancers because... Customers try to take advantage. They know you don't know how things work. And this happened to me a lot when I was a new dancer as well. But customers would try to make out with me, suck on my titties, touch me, finger me. And I did not know what I was allowed to do, what I should say yes or no to, how much I should charge. And I sometimes didn't charge anything extra at all. And I didn't fucking know. And I don't want that to be you. So do not let people do anything for free everything needs to be paid for and it has to be within your own boundaries of course so if you are comfortable with someone sucking on your titties for example make sure that you're charging at least fifty dollars extra for that because when you don't charge extra that customer comes back and he expects other girls to do the same thing for free and then it fucks up the whole ecosystem for everybody because customers are like, oh, well, I can go to her and she'll do it for free or for $5 or she'll suck my dick for 50 bucks. Like all these things just fucks up for everybody. So remember you are a luxury charge for everything. Always start high, always start high, whether that's with your VIP prices, with your tips, with extras, with whatever you do start high negotiate from there number one tip because if you don't you're really fucking it up for everybody and then don't forget you can work with other girls i have a couple of friends who like we are like work wise like we will hustle together if there's two guys together cool let's both go talk to that group we're getting guys to do vips with us and we are just working together which could make it fun and very easy and there's just two people to kind of bounce off on so that works well so don't forget that like you are competing with other girls but you can also work together and my biggest fucking tip okay this one gets girls really really mad if you are in a group and there's multiple girls multiple guys if you see that the other girls are really strong at selling vips shut the fuck up and let them hustle 
This happens to me so much and I'm so appreciative of these dancers who are really good at pushing, but if they're in the group and they're trying to get someone to do the most expensive VIP, do not ever be like, yeah, let's do three songs for a hundred. No bitch, they're trying to get big money. So shut up, let them talk, nod, smile. You can touch your customer, get all nice and close and cuddly, rub their leg, like be all cute, but let them pinch the big prices. Let them do their work because if you fuck it up, you're gonna fuck it up for everybody. And that whole group of girls are gonna make a note to never hustle with you again. When they're going to a group, you are not invited because you fucked up their money. So don't let that be you. And in saying that, if you're in a section with a bunch of girls and a bunch of guys and there's money being thrown, the way it works is you guys split the money evenly. So it's really important if you are in a section like this, you don't wanna just leave. You don't wanna just dip out because you're gonna lose money and it's gonna get confusing. Like, wait, you were here for 10 minutes, but then you left. So like, I'm not splitting that evenly with you. So that's just how it works. If you are in a section, stay in your section. Um, and yeah, split that money evenly with all the girls who are there. Also, don't hog customers. Like if you notice that you're talking to someone for like more than 15 minutes and it's not really going anywhere, it's time for you to get up and leave because this could be a customer for another girl. He might not be into you and you might just be hogging the customer. So you are not here to talk for free. You are not here to sit and just have drinks and hang out. You're here to make money. And if someone is not giving you money, you've got to go. Don't waste your time. Don't hog that customer from another dancer, maybe being able to get a sale. And also you just don't wanna waste your time. Now, a couple practical things. Do not get too drunk or fucked up at work. It looks trashy. It looks bad. Don't do it. You're better than that, okay? You are here to be a bad bitch and make money. You're not here to party and get fucked up. Two different things. Don't be the dancer that causes drama. If you've got problems with another dancer, handle it outside of the club, handle it in the dressing room, talk about it civilly, but don't go to dancers on the floor. <laughs> None of that. It doesn't look good on you, doesn't look good for the other dancer, and it does not look good for the club, okay? So keep your drama off the floor, particularly out of work completely. Just don't do it. And I do want to say, like, you are here to make money. You are not here to make friends. I am friendly with, some, with, all, with all the dancers, really. But do I consider any of them my friends? No because I'm here to make money, I'm here to focus on me. So don't be the dancer that's in the dressing room, talking, hanging out, laughing for two hours of your shift because you're missing out on money. You are here to talk and focus on the customers. You are not here to make friends. You are not here to be besties with everybody else. So really keep that in mind. Next, do not date the staff. Do not sleep with the staff don't do it and i'm blinking because i'm talking to myself i actually was dating one of the security guards drama we moved in together horrible he made me stop dancing then started fucking three other girls at the club as soon as i did will i ever do it again absolutely the fuck not should you do it absolutely the fuck not you do not want to shit where you eat okay there's a million hot guys out there but do not date these staff. It is only going to cause you drama. I promise you there's been terrible stories. Just don't do it. It will save you a lot of stress and anxiety and drama and end up making you more money in the end. So come to work, clear focus, don't date the staff. Just, just don't do it. Now, do not pocket watch other dancers. This one is mostly for your own mental health, but you do not need to worry about, oh, Alyssa got three VIPs and two of this. I wonder what she's doing. Oh, this person got this. This person did that. She made this much money on stage. Don't worry about nobody else but you. Don't focus on anybody else except you. And if you're focusing on everybody else, it's because you're not working hard enough. You are not hustling hard enough. When I'm at work, all the other women in the club are absolutely irrelevant. 
I don't know where they are, what they're wearing, who they're talking to, because I am focused only on the customers and making money. And that's the only thing that matters. So don't focus on how much money other people are making. And also don't talk about how much money you made in the back. Just don't do it. Don't be the girl that's like, Ooh, I made a thousand dollars. How much money you make? I made this much. How much money you make? Looks bad on you. And that is a quick recipe to get robbed straight the fuck up. That is a quick recipe to get someone jealous and hating on you and doing some shady shit. As personally, you know, I've never personally seen it happen, but I know that it has. So just be low key about it. Celebrate your money wins at home or with your close girlfriend, or if you've got someone you really trust that you wanna share it with, that's cool. But don't be shouting it from the rooftops in the dressing room. That's only gonna make people jealous of you or hating on you. And you just don't want that energy. You're there to make money, to go home, and to live your best life. And then let's talk about being a girl's girl, okay? As I'm saying, like, we're not here to make friends, it's totally true but also you want to be friendly and you want to be nice to the other dancers. So never, ever, 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 ever talk shit about another dancer to the customers. Just don't do it. You don't want to make them look bad. You don't want, it's just, it's not a good look for you or for her. And word gets around. Customers talk to each other. She might come by and talk to him and he's like, oh yeah, she was just talking trash about you. You don't want that. So don't do it. Don't disclose any other dancer's personal information, whether that's their real name, whether they have a boyfriend or a husband or kids. Just don't talk about other dancers to customers or to even other dancers. It's not their business. So just, just don't do it. Also, don't tell customers about your own boyfriend. Like, they don't need to know that. It kills the fantasy. I will be single till the day that I die at the strip club. Or I'll sometimes be like, oh yeah, I have a couple boyfriends, but I'm not gonna ever be honest about it because it's just not necessary and they do not need to know your business. They don't need to know it. So leave that information out. And let's say that maybe you're also wearing the same outfit as another dancer, you come into work and it's like, damn, she is wearing the exact thing that I was about to wear. If you have something else, change. Or if you can, mix it up, add some tights, add some socks, add something that makes it different. But try not to be a copycat and to copy other dancers. And lastly, if you see that a dancer has a hygiene problem, say something. If her breath smells, if she needs a little deodorant, if her tampon string is showing, if she has spots on her underwear, let her know we are a sisterhood. Do not let her embarrass herself. You would not want someone to do the same. If she's got broccoli in her teeth or her eyelashes are falling off, say something. Do not just let it go unnoticed. Be kind about it. Be like, hey girl, woman to woman, you got a little BO. You should maybe, I, I don't want to embarrass you, but like you should sort yourself out. She will be appreciative in the end. So these were my stripper etiquette tips. Let me know if you have any other tips in the comments. I'm sure there is more to the list, but this is at least what I can think of for right now. Um, let me know if this video was helpful. I know I have done all the things that I said not to do at some point or another, and I had to have someone school me, let me know like, hey girl, that's not cool. You shouldn't do that. And I'm like, oh my God, thank you. And it's like where you all have to start somewhere. We all start off as baby dancers. So if you are currently making some of these mistakes, it's okay, but do better, be better. And it will make everyone happier in the end. So I love you guys so much. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Add me on Instagram at it's Amber the Batty XO and at Amber the Stripper Coach. And I will see you guys in the next video.